right, I wanted to try to film and show you the colors of pastels I have chosen, the colors and values. Again, I started with a pink sky that set the mood for my underpainting. And I kind of went with a, a feel of values and colors in that kind of family, the pinks and the, the browns and the purples that I used. Um, but now what I'm doing, I have the underpainting done. I'm looking at the, the, um, the colors that I really want to pop in this. And I see when I squint, I see there's going to be these gorgeous um, primrosey blue, um, almost purplish um, colors on this side of the hill. And a lot of times, sand in the shadow will be blue, um, will be a real pretty blue. And so I see some of that in there, and I really like that. Some of it's over in here. It's going to get lighter in value as you go around here. So that's why I picked some of these. Um, I don't know if I can turn this up without them falling over. Some of these more bluish and even into some of the purplish in here. Okay, it's for some of those shadows in the sand. Um, now, I loved that teal. I'm, again, I have the pink sky, but I love that water being a little bit of a teal. But typically, when you lay something down, um, I don't have a lot of that color in my underpainting already. You, you lay down, you want interest in your colors. So I could just do a light teal, like, like a light teal back there. Um, but I want to put down a darker first. I may even go a little darker than this. And then the, put the teal on top of it. it. It creates some depth to it and some interest to that. Um, there's even a darker, richer color there, too. Um, so I'm leaning still into the, the peachy tones and the teal and purple tones in this. Now, because I was going with the peachy, I'm gonna, um, this is going to be more like the sky. It's that peachy pink. Um, and then I've got some more values of, the, of that in here. You want your painting to be consistent and have some of the same colors. Like I said, especially with the sky is going to be reflecting those colors. Um, so my sand is going to have, you know, kind of typical sand colors. But it's also going to have some of these colors from the sky a little darker um, reflected down into the sand. Um, so, and then my greens, I didn't want to keep them too warm. They're very warm greens in here. Um, because I'm going for that little bit of a cooler palette. And um, I, I wanted a little bit of a cooler greens in this. So I, you always want some dark dark, some dark values, even though I have my underpainting with dark values. Um, but I want to have some darker darks to lay down with the pastels. And I'm going to play around with this. This is kind of a, a small palette, which I like. I keep a small little thing to hold my pastels in so I don't overdo it. I know when I'm adding too many more. I'll add more, most likely. But I'd like to stick with these for a while and see what we get.